Depuis 2019, les universités de Bordeaux en France, Louvain-la-Neuve en Belgique et Cottebousse en Allemagne préparent sur deux ans des candidats au Master international aéronautique et mécanique. En alternance, dans chacune des trois villes et par session de six mois, les étudiants sont formés aux techniques de l'univers aérien. Création de logiciels de commande de vol à distance, test de résistance des matériaux employés, construction de pièces de fusée, conception de systèmes de survie dans l'espace ou intégration d'énergie renouvelable dans la conquête de l'espace. Autant de domaines qui sont récompensés chaque année lors de la remise des diplômes en fin de cursus. C'est le cas entre autres de Pranav Egde, étudiant indien, qui lors de la cérémonie a présenté ses travaux. Good morning all of you. So there comes the cooling loop. Now, if you notice, there are copper fins on either the bottom and the top part, which provide cooling to the uh, system. So this, in a way, simulates the Earth. How? Because when I heat the heating source, the equatorial region heats up. But I'm simultaneously, I'm cooling the polar uh, caps. So I have a hot equator and a cool pole, hence the Earth. Il a obtenu son master, tout comme Florence de Chitereux, qui a orienté sa présentation sur l'axe environnemental, un domaine vers lequel toutes les compagnies aéronautiques se tournent aujourd'hui. So, as we all know, uh, aviation is often blamed for its huge negative impact it has on the environment. So, it's really important to try to find solutions to increase the fuel efficiency uh, of aircraft or to uh, find other fuels that might uh, be better for the environment. Um, but today we're going to look at one solution which uh, involves changing the design of the wing a little bit. Malgré sa jeunesse, seulement 4 ans d'existence, ce master international récompense des étudiants du monde entier. Un doctorat qui ouvre les portes des universités, mais aussi des grandes entreprises aéronautiques et spatiales. This international master degree is young, so it has, it has started in 2019. Uh, so we had uh, 14 students in the first year. Uh, and among these 14 students, most of them have also PhD, they are doing PhD, which is extremely uh, uh, powerful for all universities because uh, this is uh, our goal, our main objective. After master, you can do a PhD, resume some research, work in university, research center, DLR, some wonderful space, or you can go in industry. Uh, and uh, some of them have also found some uh, uh, jobs in companies like DLR, uh, Rolls-Royce. They should have an interest, especially uh, on different physical um, topics like um, space sciences, like aeronautics. They should be uh, really interested in environmental sciences. They may also have an interest on decarbonization or Consuming less energy. L'industrie du monde de l'espace et de l'aviation, un domaine en réelle mutation, est évidemment très intéressée par les diplômés du master TFM ASA. Les enjeux, entre autres environnementaux, du transport aérien, sont devenus tels que de nouvelles compétences sont vivement recherchées. In aeronautics, we are living a new world. Since uh, many years, and uh, we live with incremental uh, improvement of the airplanes, of the engines. But today, uh, regarding the, the fact that we have to decarbonate the, the aerospace, the aeronautics today is uh, the best way to uh, to create link between uh, people, between population. This aeronautics is uh, the solution to to create this link, but. Uh, it creates also uh, greenhouse effect gases. We need students that are very high skills in uh, how to think the, the, the flying of an aircraft to limit the, the time of fly and the time we emit uh, CO2. So the business model, the low-cost company that we know today will not be the low-cost company tomorrow. So um, we have to think differently. Mm -hmm.